of Jesus Christ, you wicked spiritual husband. All over your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Your crown. In the name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to her? Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, now speak. Who are you? Who are you in this body? And what have you done to her? Speak louder. You want to do what? Why? Why? Because she's a star. Because she's a star. What have you done to her so far in the family? Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to her and the family? Speak louder. As what? You have a name there. Who are you from the father's side? Of Jesus Christ, who are you? Who is she to you? She's my wife. What can you say about her character? She's very stubborn. She will always do, even to get her here was a challenge. I had to trick her to come here. Why did you have to trick her to come here? She refused to come because I knew something is wrong somewhere. What are those things you know have been wrong somewhere in your life? And in your marriage. Yeah, she's very stubborn. You tell her to do something like um, a normal wife. She will not do it. She will prefer to do what is in her own mind. And so, like today, I asked her to come. It was yesterday I asked her to come. She refused. I had to use my mom to push her to come this morning. All over your body, Holy Ghost. Say the name of Jesus Christ. Your rings. Now get out in Jesus Christ's name. Let there be peace in this marriage. In Jesus' name. Amen. Stand up. How are you? Fine, sir. Huh? Could you remember what happened to you? Mm. Huh? No, sir. Huh? No. Who is this man to you? Mm. Look at the man. My huh? He's my husband. He's whom? My husband. Who is the man to you? He's my husband. The one that made her to be stubborn in the past. That made her not obey your instruction as a husband in this marriage is out. So don't use her past against her. The old things are passed away and the new has come. She's a nice woman by the grace of God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay? Thank you, Jesus. And the one that also made her not to want to be in a place where Jesus dwells through his word and by his spirit. He's also out, so she's free. Thank you, Jesus. She will be the one to look for Jesus herself. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you.